organizing team ended up being Indians. But welcome back to India to France. So just yesterday we finished organizing an event that was in TBS Business School. So it's been just few months that we are here and have been studying in this business school and I'm seriously so proud that I was able to execute this event of course along with my friend here who headed this event. I was part of the communication and let me tell you all the nitty gritties of how did we execute this event together. Stay tuned. This is Pawan whom I was talking to you about earlier so he, it was his brainchild to organize this conference in TBS and coincidentally somehow all the organizing team ended up being Indians but that was not the intent so could you tell me how did how did you even think of having this conference uh, in so first of all thank you Ramya for being part of the team uh, so for me I think the most difficult part was to organize the, the whole the organize the schedule uh, to get the speaker to get all the speakers under one schedule and uh, I think it took me like two months mm. to man uh, to manage all the speakers and uh, to uh, to make the availability for their schedule and uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, it's because of you and uh, Rahul that we, we, we were able to uh, successful successfully uh, coordinate this event and uh, I'm happy that we also we were also able to bring some Indian food. And people really like the I'm, uh, people really like the Indian food, and uh, I think we were uh, we were able to show our Indian culture to them. So, how did you think of this 
uh, having this event like what made you think about that that we should have this here did you might have also thought of having this back in india but why did you do it here? uh so for me the uh, main motivation was to so for me the main motivation was to uh, uh, make people understand about the new space mm -hmm. uh, which generally many people don't know about so the, the main concept the main uh, the main idea was to uh, bring leaders uh, from the industries as well as from the academic background so that uh, so that there can be a discussion about how how the things are being happening in the new space ecosystem and uh, i uh, as uh, as, uh, as we discussed earlier also that i had this idea in my mind in india to organize the event but somehow i was only able to get the right atmosphere uh, in france so mm -hmm. i think that helped me yeah so it, it's really difficult you know to uh, contact all the speakers and yes. bring them here how did you connect with him did you meet them earlier in some event or did you connect them through linkedin or what mm -hmm. was the uh, Yeah, so Channel. so the basic approach here is to do the networking. First thing is that you you have to approach the people. Even if you, uh, and the first thing that even if you don't drink, you have to take a yes. the glass of wine in your hand and stand uh, and stand and talk to them. So and, you uh, basically don't drink. Is that what you're saying? I uh, know I drink, but uh, that's <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> occasionally I, I I take drinks. So yeah, the basic part is to do the networking, yeah. uh, do conversation with them, and uh, whenever you had the opportunity, try to put a message on LinkedIn asking about. Uh, what the uh, which projects they are working on or if they can, if you can approach them for the interviews and that's how you build the network and then uh, when you need them they are always uh, available uh, to help you so did you find it difficult to deal with the administration like in, in terms of uh, arranging this mm -hmm. event like in terms of bringing all the finances bringing the people in even in terms of volunteers i know we volunteer but still how did you approach some students to you know help you out with this event like what was the whole journey how did you make that happen yeah so i'm glad that you asked this question because uh, it's always difficult to organize such event in a multicultural team uh, because uh, everyone is having their own thoughts and everyone wants to add uh, their their own way of working yeah uh, but uh, i think being international it really helped me because i was able to some uh, bring something uh, from my culture or something back from india and initially i i saw that people were very reluctant to include all these things but when uh, when uh, together with you we were able to explain them about what what is our main aim and how do we want to approach the project i think we got a we got a good feedback from them and uh, that's i think that's contributed to the success of the event yeah and this is extremely important if you are an international student and especially coming from india like us this is important for you to be you know uh, integrated with the friend system here try to meet more people find out more people you can network through linkedin or also go attend some event even if it is paid it yeah, might pay off so some time basically that is the thing that you have to get yourself into the networking always go and try to uh, attend some events some conferences so that this opens up the world for you and you uh, meet get to uh, get to meet new people because here if you see the uh, uh, you, you can even meet the ceos or the uh, top brass of the companies hmm. on this event this is where you're going to get them and this is and where you want to get nowhere them. else because you and can get to meet them in person yeah. and talk about your skills probably you never know how it's going to work yes, out yes. for you in the future because i think that's the whole point of coming all the way from india to different country right to get a job to do something earn some money develop some skills or better your lifestyle so your journey starts here networking that's the whole point networking and that's what he's doing yeah networking is very important so uh, as i was saying uh, you can only find these people in these sessions and all and they are very approachable it's yeah. not like that you cannot uh, you cannot approach them they are uh, ready to talk to you even if you are student they are ready to listen to your projects so i think is uh, it's always good to don your best uniforms mostly the in the, the formal suits so, and mm -hmm. then uh, you go and uh, attend this event and approach these people Yeah, and develop your network. Yeah, so some some tips from Pawan that is, you should always be yeah. dressed a little decent, like demure, something like that. So that you always have a pretty privilege, no and, matter and where you are. And French people do love fashion, so always dress your best when you whenever you go out. Yeah. Okay, so now coming back to our journey, I remember I chipped in in the last two weeks of organizing this event. Yeah. Although you've been working on this for like past two months, but I've been the communication officer of this association where uh, 
um pavan is already uh, volunteering from almost one year now yeah it's been one one year now yeah and so, I, it has so many benefits guys so not just this association i would rather say this all of this i've i've got this knowledge from pavan because he he's um well technically he's my senior in terms of studies but he is not yeah. so, in real but yeah this is what he knowledge catered me so here there are a lot of opportunities right uh, be it anything you just join the association and you have to explore like what are the benefits that they have or what are the things that you can contribute to the uh, agency or the association and what are the skills that you can develop because coming here you are fresh right you might not have experience or although you might have experience back from your home country taking experience in a different country is a whole new ball game so whatever skills that you pick up are definitely going to be useful once you go for the interview in this current country wherever you are staying so that was the whole point of joining associations and that's what pavan has has recommended us to do and he is doing it that as well and it has beautifully trans transformed uh, this thing this idea to him because that's what that's how you uh, landed your uh, internship right yeah so basically to tell you more about it uh, this is uh, an our uh, student organization uh, but it's not uh, only uh, locally developed it, it's a organization working at the european level so we uh, as we are working on this uh, or, uh, working in this organization at european level we have many stakeholders and uh, with that we get the opportunity to organize many conferences such as one we organized uh, yesterday and uh, as, as you mentioned that it's very it's very helpful when you work uh, with other students in this organization with different different universities uh, the students from different universities from mm -hmm. different backgrounds so for me the idea idea was uh, uh, for me the main aim uh, was to always promote the space and this uh, this organization thank you this is some cool filter coffee that we are found of so this organization which i'm working from uh, working for is a uh, is mostly about space and promoting space activities so from there i got the idea to organize the conference and uh, and i i i will recommend everyone uh, who's coming here to study and to uh, to uh, to take a further step in their education to uh, to always get uh, involved with this uh, student organization here it is called bde It's uh, it's difficult to pronounce. What in, is BDE? Uh, it's difficult to pronounce in French, so uh, I will stick with BDE. Okay. Uh, so uh, BDE means a student organization here, and uh, you can you can al always always uh, get enrolled in uh, the organization which uh, suits your passion. So for me, it was space. And, so uh, with that, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. So how how good is your French right now? I mean, you ended up organizing such a beautiful and a, a huge huge conference as per the locals, right? So. How is your French? Did you yeah, I'm manage? Still, I'm, I'm still working on it, but I think I now now I'm able to understand the language. It's yeah. just that I, I'm not in a I'm not in a good flow to speak the language and all. But uh, usually for me, the, the the my field my field of studies my field of work doesn't need the, the French language. Uh, so for me, it's now uh, for now it's good. But uh, I plan to develop my skills in French. Yeah, but uh, the as the event was in English and. Uh, Uh, I think it it was uh, it, uh, we also promoted the event online and we uh, we had audience I think from four different continents mm. so that that was a very big thing for us. Yeah. So we almost ended up uh, getting registration of 110, which is huge. And uh, just to talk about what was the arrangement is like initially we had um, we we'd been working on this from past two and a half two weeks almost mm -hmm. where I was working on the communication part like. Um, the presentation what are the contents that it should have when he was working on the uh, the content the actual the content, content and yeah. uh, bringing all the questions you know bringing uh, all the questions uh, contacting the speakers managing the admin stuff yeah. getting the funding which is very important when you organize these kinds of events i was skeptical whether we are going to get some funds because i didn't know because i have attended two conferences already which were ha um, organized by the um, the university itself but mm -hmm. they did not have much of um, expenses in terms of anything actually there was yeah, no, no, no usual, usually usually it's very difficult to get the funding from the uh, from uh, from the organization you are working for because there in uh, in i don't uh, like in india it's uh, there is not that much paperwork we we just get a direct yes or no answer but here you, you have to follow up a um, uh, proper line of uh, paperwork developer proposal yeah, yeah. why why do you need the fund what do you want to do with that 
and also you cannot just go and ask anybody saying no. that hey can you come for uh, us no you have to take an appointment shoot out an email then yes. tell them about an entire event convince them sign all the documents right so proper process okay and, you have to then, follow and you need to have time and then then there is the uh, french way of working where people usually see your mail but they choose to reply on a later date and then there is additional to, uh, two days where uh, of weekends so hmm. it's almost take like a month if you if uh, if you're expecting an answer from someone uh, at the top high okay. so somehow we managed to put this together yeah, yeah, within yeah. two weeks within and two weeks. Uh, at the very last day within last two days we were able to finalize on the food initially we tried to have a french gouté that is french snack in the evening along with the cocktail but then somehow we couldn't finalize that because of the finances and a uh, lot of other logistical problems right but then we ended up getting um, indian contact and I, then, i will call it indian jugad because uh, frugal <laughs> yeah frugal so because we, uh, at the end the the cat, uh, the french caterers they they uh, they said a uh, straight, uh, straight no because yeah. because uh, they mentioned that this is too late for them to manage all uh, all the all all the uh, logistics. all the logistics yeah. and then uh, we had some contacts indian contacts and, they, we, and then we approached them and then we asked them if they can manage uh, manage the log- uh, this uh, food catering for us and uh, they were very very helpful uh, and i think we call it reception but it was a proper dinner proper dinner we organized proper indian dinner and most of them actually loved it so we ju- we did not just serve it and then let people eat and then that was not the case we explained them what what are the individual dishes that we had and how it is to be eaten because sometimes we got a review from the car- caterer yeah. saying that um people even ended up eating the banana leaf uh, which was <laughs> yeah. served in the plate so, so, so yeah, we had to that was that. the aim so that the people should not uh, start eating the banana leaf which is there only to yeah. keep it as a so it's a tradition something that we bring from yeah, india yeah. so yes we had to uh, tell them or educate them like what are the uh, dishes and how do we eat it and even the sauce the sauce that we eat at the end of our food like how do we do how do we eat it and why do we eat we also had to tell them but all in all mm-hmm. we ended up having a very good event and uh, yeah. we did get a lot of good responses and thank you rahul for joining us at the very last moment who is behind the camera yeah, yeah. as he's, usual he's the behind, he's the behind the behind the cameras guy he was the main uh, su- main support for us in organizing all the logistics and uh, taking care of everything so i would also like to thank to him yeah. thank you so much. So Pawan, what is the takeaway? Like, what 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 are your advice to all the Indian students who are really nervous, you know, mm-hmm. to gel with other people, international students who who do not go out there, put themselves out there, showcase their skills, and they they keep themselves back. So, what do you think they should do, and why? What was your takeaway? Please, could you? Tell so, us. Uh, the for me, the main main takeaway. We are in public, guys. So. So for me, the main takeaway was uh, was a feedback from my professor, who is my thesis professor, and uh, is the person I look up to. And uh, he he just uh, g- uh, gave me a, a feedback which I I wasn't I was not expecting from him, and he said that this was the biggest space event in the TBS education. Indeed, uh, it was because so, yeah, that yeah. that was a big thing for me coming from him, and I think that just uh, that just boost up my confidence, and I think uh, in future. Uh, i uh, i will try to organize much more events and uh, as you asked uh, i think i will only suggest indian students who are coming here to engage to engage with the french people to engage with the french administration and uh, try to try to learn their way of working and try to uh, try to put yourself in the uh, situation and uh, learn more out of it yeah so this is the initial step right before you yeah, get yeah. into before you get into the job market this is where your learning should start and yes. this is a golden opportunity because guys why not coming from a different country we are paying so so much to the university here i think we should take full advantage yeah of yeah that. why not why not you if you are uh, if you uh, i think it's it's also very difficult when you are uh, you, yourself uh, sponsoring the education yeah so i think it's always good to make most out of it try uh, try to approach people try to get uh, uh, most of the out of your program and yeah that's that's what i suggest thank you so much pawan so this was our takeaway that indians please put yourself out there learn things because this is definitely going to take you a long way don't be shy just as we are nervous even they are nervous at some point because they have some limitation as we have to 
but don't feel inferior i do feel sometimes as well i'm sure pavan would also yeah, yeah. feel but that, i think that's out. part of the process yeah. so you will you will learn and you will, you will develop the confidence yes so hope to see some amazing events or amazing things from our fellow indians in the future and do let me know or tag my account or just comment me any links that you have also created i would definitely like to promote your work if you would like that so and, until that yes and sorry. guys sorry uh, guys please subscribe her channel because uh, she is putting so much effort into this and uh, it doesn't uh, from if you see the videos it doesn't look like that uh, she uh, she is uh, doing all these things but yeah it's it's very difficult to make the video taking the time out of the schedule and uh, it will be it will mean i think uh, it will mean a uh, not to her if you subscribe and put some constructive feedback i'm not being sponsored by anybody <laughs> <laughs> neither did i sponsor him it was just yes, copy yes. that i gave him but it yeah. is i think it's your honest feedback yeah yeah i hope so yeah i did it for the coffee <laughs> <laughs> yes guys please so i've not been sponsored um, just a like subscribe or the share with anybody whom you think this video is going to be helpful or the entire channel itself so please do share it will take my channel long long way so see you in next video until then bye 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 hello hello bonjour we oui. sava via so this is my technical banda my technical guru who helps behind the scenes behind the scenes so i wanted him to be in my video but he doesn't because he is shy Yeah, let's go.